Welcome to Earth Roots Healing. Much love to you and yours. This is an update on our passion fruits. Um, basically, how long ago do you think we bought these three? Two months? It's, what month is it now? It's April. April, February. Yep, two months. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in that range. Uh, we bought three at a farmer's market. And they were about this big, little starters and came home and again I did kind of a rush job I didn't do it great uh, I just dug a big enough hole to put the ball in the ground next to a fence so they had something to climb now you can see they've done quite well this is the, the least well grown out of the three let's look at all three here this one's really expanded a lot I'm giving them little climbers that I'm going to add to later something to keep climbing because this one's gotten so big this one over here is doing okay and like Natalie said, what we're going to do today, we're going to get some good dirt that we've now, you know, located different types of dirt on the property for different things. And we're going to add it to these bowls and water it in really good to feed them better. But what is ideal is always to dig out a big area and soften the dirt up so the roots have a lot of room to expand quickly and easily. Now these will live and they'll continue to grow, just not as fast as they would have. But let's show you some that we started from seed out back. These ones back here, they're both in the same um, container. I'm going to have to move the, the smaller one. But because it was all loose dirt and good dirt, um, it's growing really fast. In fact, last week I didn't see it. I couldn't even tell what I was looking at. And you'll see what we have now this week. Try to avoid all the trash. <laughs> This week, I saw this sticking out maybe this high, and I could see its little wrapping vine here, and I knew, oh, you know, that's a that's a passion fruit. There it is. So I gave it a stick as a climber. Now this old stick isn't much, but it's going to lead it up to these pipes, and then it can start climbing all our plumbing pipes here, which will cover them up, make them look better, mm -hmm. keep them out of the sun. It's better for the pipes that way. It looks better, gives it something to climb. And there's more than one in here, judging by these leaves. It looks like this is possibly one or this little thing right here. So I'm guessing we have at least one more, which will end up moving to its own location. But this one is growing really rapidly now that it's taken off. And two days ago, I put the stick in here and it was just sitting out here. Over the last two days, it's wrapped around it and it's grown another three or four inches at least. So because that dirt's loose, like when I put that dirt in there, it was above the top of the barrel, the bucket. And that's how loose it is. It's packed itself down that hard in the meantime. But it's still rich dirt. It's loose dirt. The roots are expanding quickly. This is going to grow quickly. I'll do the same for the other one. Find a nice location for it. And, uh, you know, it's really cool. We're having success growing those from seeds. So that is the um, passion fruit update for now. Passion fruits look crazy, but we tried them and we like them. They're really good. They're popular around here. And... Um, you know, uh, we'll be spreading them further and growing more as we go. So, leave a comment if you're into passion fruit or you think you might be or anything <laughs> else. Much love. Over and out for now from Earth Roots Healing. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.